Today I'm here for a few agendas. I've come here to issue checks for elders constituency schools. I have come with the bursaries so that I can give out to the schools that are located within elders. I had done my launch a few months ago at Tuajia Girls Secondary School. So today we said Elders been the head uh, quarters for Elders constituency. We issue the checks here. I have few checks from my office, all the schools that are located in Elders constituency, and I'll call the names. Before I do that, there are some few agendas I would like to discuss. And uh, one of the issues I would like to discuss in this area is early marriages. As you know, as a community, Early marriages is very rampant. And I want to send a message to the parents from this constituency to avoid early marriages from their daughters. Today I was with the security team and I was being told there was the elders are giving out daughters as early as 13, 12 years, 10 years. The girl gets pregnant the man runs away from the security officers and the lady is left alone with children. That is something we will not encourage as leaders. We are warning the parents, we are talking to them, we are asking them not to practice early marriage. And we are telling the parents to allow the daughters to go to school. The other issue I would like to discuss is the issue of gender-based violence. There is a lot of defilements in this area, as low as children who are six years old and goes beyond 30 and 40 years. As we have so many cases of women who, are def who have been raped, girls who are, have been defiled below the age of even five years. As a community, it's something that we don't encourage. The religion does not allow. The culture does not allow, but I don't understand where the men from this coast, uh, county get the energy from. So we need, to, we need to send them a bad warning, a very strong warning that we will not accept our women to be abused and the law will take its course. Uh, I'm here to support uh, girls' education. Being a woman, coming from this county, I'm asking my sisters to study properly. Just like the MCA said, when I was going to school here, we never had opportunities like bursaries, sanitary pads, and many other opportunities you're getting. So I'm asking you, as your mother, as a daughter from the county, as your leader as the women rep, 
to study well. The Ma'alim Ali had said, we want girls who are studying doctors from this school. And I have seen there was a doctor from, I know a lady doctor from this school. So it's not something hard. You can achieve with the prayers, hard work, and discipline. If you don't have those three, trust me, you will not pass exam. What did I say? Prayers, discipline, and hard work. Where does the hard work come? You need to study. If you're not studying, don't expect to pass exams. You need to be studying day and night. You need to look at the things you study, understand well, so that when the exam comes, you can write the things you, that you have understood. The other thing I'd like to add is the issue of drugs. This county drugs, the, the, the people who are abusing drugs are going out of hand. I'm asking the national government. I'm asking the office of Nakada. I am asking the county leaders like myself to come and have a meeting to rescue our sons and our sons from abusing drugs. We need to come together and and ask and uh, we need to come together and think way forward on how we can rescue our children. Finally, I want to thank the headmaster of this school. He's an environmentalist, the headmaster of this school. I don't know where he has gone. Plus the students. There are a lot of trees you've planted and you can see the fruits today. You know, when we were in the Baraza, everyone was saying, oh, it's sunny, we need to get out, we need to go back to our homes. Now, no one is talking about that because of the trees the school has planted. And I must thank you, and I urge the rest of Wajia people to plant as more trees as possible so that we can secure our environment.